Northwest Mississippi Community College is a grand cramp campus with many activities and plans to grow. Let's welcome, and I'm excited to have with me, college president, Dr. Michael Heindel. Welcome, Mr. Michael. Hey, How are you Gina, today? great. Doing great. Thanks well, for having me. I finally get to meet the president. I've had the whole I'm here. staff. I made it. <laughs> you made it. You <laughs> Great arrived. to be here. No, yeah. good to have you. And finally put a name to a face, all that good stuff. Thank you. Man, what are you guys expanding on now? You guys are the most expandingest place I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> it is a, I'll just begin by saying it's a great day to be a ranger, first hey, of all. And, uh, and you know, for, really, we are on a growth tra trajectory at the college, you know, from, from everything going on with our academic side of the college to career technical to health sciences. It really is a great place to be. A lot of programs are growing, uh, campuses are expanding. Um, you know, I think that you've had uh, folks from our Performing Arts Center on, mm -hmm. the, on the program, and you know, that, that's a brand new facility. We just State cut the, the ribbon art. on it, and um, great uh, national performers coming uh, very soon. I and love that. so excited about that. It, it kind of puts another face for us to have big talent like that, and to come to a university campus, like, that's insane. It, but you yeah. guys built an amazing auditorium. We have. It's uh, 1,203 seats, if you're counting, uh, the, the theater space. <laughs> and then on the back side of the theater is all of the uh, training space for our students, music majors, uh, the choir space, the... Um, you know, for, for all of our bands, we have an entertainment industries program where students learn to record music and, and I love produce that. music. Right, so and they can have everything on house in campus so they can get the full on experience absolutely. as opposed to having to travel out. You guys bring it right. right there. We are, and uh, so excited about the fact that we again start our inaugural season in just a few weeks. Uh, we're going to have uh, Disney's Winnie the Pooh come on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon and very excited about it. Um, <laughs> from uh, national entertainers, Grammy Award winners, Emmy Award winners, to like folks like Kristen Chenoweth, yeah. uh, Jay Leno, and you know, like, so excited to have him. He's coming in March, and uh, we've got um, uh, Dr. Ben Carson coming, uh, Billy Bob Thornton and his uh, uh, band called the Box Masters. And so, um, Touring Broadway is coming to the Performing Arts Center, uh, Rain, it's, which is a Touring Beatles show. But it also be used for, for students who are also in the arts and performing as well, too. Oh, so absolutely. So, some local talent there. That's right. Uh, we have the, the space fully um, compatible for all of our bands, choirs, uh, our theater program, even our uh, visual arts program will have mm. opportunity to showcase it, some of its pottery, some of our students' artwork and things like that. So we have space all throughout the, the, uh, the building where we'd be able to showcase some of, those, some of that artwork as well. What is it like for you personally to be amongst a university that's just has so much to offer and give back? It, it's so exciting. I mean, you know, we, we do everything based upon our college vision and mission. And so the mission's kind of lengthy, but the vision is the one that we really commit to memory. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in, in our institution, we commit our college vision to memory, which is that Northwest Mississippi Community College, number one, transforms students' lives. Mm -hmm. Number two, enriches our communities. And number three, strives for excellence in its educational programs and services. And so we really base everything that we do mm -hmm. on our college vision and those three things. And I think it's pretty evident because you guys have so much alumni that comes back. And that speaks volumes about a university. Because how often do you want to go back to the place that you've kind of had your growing pains? You know, but, but now you can make it an easy transition for the incoming and actually see what it's like and what it, you know, because you've experienced that. That's right. And, you know, we're making on our student services side it even easier for students to enroll. We, we just, uh, we're undergoing a renovation in our enrollment services side of the college, a one-stop shop, if you will, so mm -hmm. students don't have to go across campus to get the, uh, to get the ID or across the other part oh, of campus yeah. to register and across the other part of campus to do this. So no, it's all in one space, and so we're very excited about that. We call it our one-stop enrollment center. And that's where all of these offices and services are located. And so that's, that's undergoing renovation. We also have some really exciting other renovations and okay. additions to campus. Do and tell. so, okay, Do tell. I will. I, I'm excited <laughs> about these things too. Um, we have, a, we have 1,237 beds on campus in Cenotopia. That's where the, the main, main campus, campus is mm -hmm. with, the, with athletics and, the, um, and all of the residence life and the, the, those types of facilities. And so we have a brand new men's residence hall that is about to break ground. It's actually the uh, bulldozers and all the groundbreaking stuff is happening right now on campus. And it will be about a 76 bed new residence hall, which will add to that 1200 plus beds on campus. 
Oh, we also have a brand new Chick-fil-A. It's a 5,000 square foot well, tell you, that full count, service Listen, that Chick cow makes its way around town. <laughs> Chick-fil-A is everywhere, but it's such it a is. beautiful, I, I love that food. It's our so students good. love it. And you know, we're so excited to be able to bring that type of uh, amenity and to our students. Vibe, yeah. Absolutely. And and then in the DeSoto, uh, in DeSoto County, our DeSoto campus, we have a brand new, um, funds have already been set aside for this groundbreaking about to happen for it, but it is a brand new, a facility which will be for the purpose of health sciences. Ooh. So, you know, nursing, nursing. Uh, some of our allied health programs, and then also uh, for workforce training and career technical. And those are the two areas that really just took off in the oh, pandemic. Yeah, and it's such a need for it. Like we need more Absolutely. nurses. So, so many companies offering incentives for nursing programs and the hospital and period. So th that's really good that you guys are expanding on that to get our youth ready. We are, we, we are, and you know, Health science, nursing is such a big, um, exciting career track for students. And so we help students begin, whether that's with a healthcare assistant type program, students can get, get on the track there mm -hmm. to our practical nursing and then even to our registered nursing. So all three get you on that pathway to even go past that to a bachelor's or a master's. Nice, so, nice. Exciting. Well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing what Northwest Mississippi Community College is doing because they're always expanding, they're always growing. Stay tuned with us. Thank you thank so you. much. That's amazing. Thank you. All right, that, we were going to toast you and have the hard work you're doing. As we celebrate that each week when we return, join me <laughs> to create a celebratory drink. Next on Bluff City Life, on to another one. Inkwell Bars got one more drink on the menu. See what they're pouring up. 